ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ವಿ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಎ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎಂ ವೀರಭದ್ರ ಅದೇಮಯ ದಟ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆರ್ಫೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಡ್ ಕಾಬಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಕ್ವಿಬ್ರಯ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಬ್ರಿಯಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ ಯು ದಿ ಆಟಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಇಮೇಜಿನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಇಮೇಜಿನ್ ದ ಅನಾಲಜಿ ಅನಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸನ್ ಯು ಇಮೇಜಿನ್ ದಟ್ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ನೈನ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಲ ಏಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟು ಇಮೇಜಿನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅನಾಲಜಿ ದಟ್ ಸಾರ್ ದ ಶೇಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಟಮ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಲ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಟಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸನ್ the analogy as i discussed previously so another important thing is that the electrons are the fundamental particles which acts as a predominant role in atomic physics this is uh, the important thing you should know you know nucleus now coming to the other important thing as i told you the shapes of the distribution of electrons in a different orbitals k l m n o etc the first orbital k second orbital l and the third orbital m like this so the distribution of electrons in different orbitals um, how the shapes of the uh, atomic uh, orbitals the s orbital this is the s orbital s shell this is the sp shell this is a spd cell this is a spd cell and this is a spd f cell like this spd f you know 1s 2s 2p6 2p5 2pz the two colors uh, show the phase or the sign of the wave function in each region each picture is domain coloring of uh, uh, phi uh, that is x y z are the coordinates of the orbitals function which uh, depend on the coordinates of the electron to see the elongated shape x y z whole square functions that show probably density or more directly see pictures of the orbitals so here if you observe this is one angstrom units that is equivalent to 100 picometer that is the size of an atom the size of an atom this is the nucleus of an atom this is called electron cloud this is where the electrons are distributed in the different orbitals k l m n o p etc this is a electron cloud this is the innermost thing one fermion which is a nucleus of an atom which consists of protons and neutrons which are called nucleons well friends this is the nucleus as i told you the nucleons means it may be a proton or it may be a neutron which is called a nucleus this in this nucleus contains positive protons p and the neutral are neutrons n the electrons circle the nucleus
my dear friends this is very important to do, to solve the problems in the forthcoming examinations you know my dear friends a is nothing but mass number that is the uh, sum of protons and neutrons and z is the atomic number that is the number of protons atomic number indicates the number of protons similarly x what is x is the chemical symbol of an atom this is the abbreviation or a symbol the neutrons and protons collectively called nucleus nucleons as i told you give the atom its mass this is not actual mass but that relative to other atoms that is the relative mass of an atom one atomic mass unit is the amu abbreviation stands for amu is nothing but atomic mass unit that is equivalent to 1 by 12th of the mass of the carbon atom 12 is the reference carbon atom carbon atom is the reference that is the standard one the atomic mass units of different components of the atoms are shown in the table you see this is the table what i told you the relative mass neutron one proton one electron 0 0.005 is the highly negligible mass the electron is highly negligible mass where you have to consider only the neutron and proton will have definite masses charge is the neutron is zero the mass of the proton is plus one and the mass of the sorry charge of the electron is minus one the symbol is represented by the abbreviated by neutron is n proton is p and electron is e to the power of minus indicate the charge so electrons shells what are shells is nothing but orbitals the electrons are configured it is the distribution of electrons is nothing but electronic configuration in the atomic structure what we are discussing today is the atomic structure the maximum number of electrons uh, a shell uh, can hold is uh, 2n square the shell number is 1 2 3 4 this is the principal orbital k l m n etc this is the letter symbol k principal orbitals and the maximum number of electrons is equal to 2n square apply the formula 2n square where n is the number of uh, orbital k it indicates the number of uh, shell if it is 1 you have to consider uh, 2n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 etc like this uh, depending upon the nature of the distribution of electrons in the uh, atomic structures well friends this is a very simplistic uh, model is that each shell has a letter symbol and maximum number of electrons it can hold calculated by 2n square where n is the n is equal to shell number this is very important in the calculation of atomic orbitals and atomic numbers <coughs> now you see types of electrons what are the types of electrons electrons uh, acts as the predominant role in the chemical bonding particularly these are the electrons that are held in an orbit around the nucleus uh, in the electron shells by the attractive forces of uh, uh, nuclear attractive forces uh, positive uh, uh, that is you know law of charges like charges repels and unlike charges attracts uh, in the electrostatic forces uh, of the attraction and repulsion my dear friends uh, like poles repels and unlike poles attract like that of in the magnetism you you should remember all these fundamental concepts of uh, uh, physics or chemistry are uh, the fundamental basic concepts of uh, science the binding energy is the positive energy is required to overcome the pull of the nucleus and release the electron from the shell. You know, there is an attraction. How it attracts? You know, electron, electron will never attract each other because of the same charge. Where the electron is attracted by the another positive charge, which is proton. So, so therefore, there is a possibility of binding energy, which is... Uh, uh, positive energy required to overcome the pull of the nucleus and release the electron from the shell. This is the same magnitude as the actual negative energy of the electron that is released if the electron is free. When it is uh, possible to free the electron, when it is not bounded by the valence electrons are unstable. Valence electron, the outermost orbital electrons are called valence electrons, as I told you, my dear friends. These valence electrons are very free. As soon as it 
come near the uh, uh, orbitals, uh, just it will transfer or it will share. Unpaired electrons are always unstable. Hence, as far as possible, the unpaired electrons are able to uh, try their level best to share or transfer from the atomic orbital. So therefore, my dear friends, the free electrons are nothing but the outermost uh, electrons, which are also nothing but uh, they are called valence electrons. Therefore, these are the electrons that are not bound in an electron shell around the nucleus. They have a kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy which is moving along with the particle in the particular direction in the frame, in the form of an orbital or in the circular motion or it may be some other motion whatever it may be this is very important my dear friends kinetic energy this kinetic kinetic means continuing is moving moving it's not stable kinetic potential is different so therefore my dear friends these are the electrons that are not bound in electron shell and around the nucleus. They have a kinetic energy because of their presence of kinetic energy of the moving particle of an electron which are revolving around the nucleus of an atom where m is equal that is kinetic energy is equal to half m square. The energy energy kinetic is equal to half m square where m is the mass of the particle and b is the velocity of the particle. Here the velocity of the particle is nothing but a charge particle it is nothing but an electron. The actual binding energy of the electron is expressed in electron volts that is EV or KEV but is uh, kilo electron volts. So that is equal to 1 kilo electron volt is equal to 1000 electron volts. So 1 electron volt is equal to 1.622 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. This is an equation which is very important, it is a constant thing which is very important during the uh, <coughs> solving the problems in your forthcoming examinations, particularly in the inorganic chemistry question papers. Well, friends, thank you. I am your brother, Ademai, a retired scientist from the Geological Survey of India. Now, I would like to take the classes for the degree classes as well as any um, that is competitive examinations. Also, let me interact with you people of Karnataka. My dear friends, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, please um, see that. Uh, and uh, here, uh, uh, another important thing is that I would like to interact with you people so that I can uh, uh, share the, the thoughts and ideas about the classes uh, which are uh, particularly collegiate uh, classes and the competitive examinations also in future for your uh, job uh, searching and all please contact me thank you for listening dhanyavadagalu keliddike nanu elpadre ademaya gopanalli da namaskara snehitre 9663828428 is my mobile